Колеги, добро ранку. Ми розпочинаємо робочий день. Тема першого прес-брифінгу на сьогодні – фестиваль українського опору «Бандерштаб». До слова запрошується арт-директор фестивалю, лідер гурту «Фіолет» Сергій Мартинюк, а також виконавчий директор фестивалю Марина Хромих. Прошу, друзі. Фестиваль «Україні резистенс Бандерштаб» Сергій Мартинюк і Марина Хромюк. Добре ранку. To start with, we invite uh, to look at uh, the video of our festival and then uh, to uh, realize how good it is. Festival of Ukrainian uh, Resistance um, in Lutsk on the big stage of the festival flies and uh, Kinsons, uh, Rolex, uh, Karna, Onuka, Tartak, Fiolet, Otor, Ruto. The festival Bandrstadt is uh, one of the oldest uh, traditions, music traditions. Uh, it is uh, organized uh, since uh, 2007 and uh, in Lunsk and Valin, mostly in Lutsk, uh, youth organization of uh, National Alliance was uh, trying to organize a festival which would be different. Uh, from other festivals. So in addition to uh, entertainment, uh, music entertainment, uh, like uh, at other uh, festivals, we, we are trying to enhance uh, patriotic education and intellectual uh, development of uh, the youth. So that's why it happened uh, then, uh, in addition uh, to music uh, stage, uh, when acoustic uh, lit literature stage, uh, we had also intellectual location so-called Hudirke, uh, and uh, to which we invite in, in known Ukrainians from different uh, fields, uh, political, economic, and uh, cultural. That's uh, I will start with, and I will touch uh, this year in Volin to Lutsk uh, on the 31st of uh, July, August, to we'll receive Mustafa Nayem, Volodymyr Panasiuk, uh, the civic leader, Lukol Kianenko, uh, producer uh, Sanin and Vasil uh, Skriar, uh, sister of uh, the uh, imprisoned uh, uh, Nadia Savchenko, who is uh, in Russia in a prison, and uh, some other people who are successful and um, who guests uh, older and younger from different parts of Ukraine. And they will give uh, lectures, and um, there will be a chance uh, to uh, talk to them and to discuss what you Ukrainians uh, must uh, do with the achievements of the revolution in the light of those events which are taking place in our country. But uh, was um, had a goal to uh, bring together activists and civic activists and uh, known people and musicians and uh, to develop uh, some kind of initiatives as a music uh, program. We will have absolutely different music uh, from protest, uh, punk road, um, and uh, ex-leader of Lapis Trubetskoy, and uh, to mainstream Ukrainian uh, electronic music uh, in the band uh, Nuka. One of the symbols of festivals, and Luchan and Polozhenko with uh, Tartak, and uh, Otorvald uh, from Kiev, from Rolex uh, from Kherson, uh, from Epalets, uh, from this uh, tin, uh, shadow of uh, Tin Sunce from Kiev, and many other uh, bands and, uh, from different parts of Ukraine. So we are trying to cover with that all geography, and uh, there is a night stage, and uh, there will be um, about 20 bands participating, and uh, there will be events even from uh, Luhansk, and uh, three days of festival, all who come from other parts of Ukraine, It's uh, there will be a, a lot of uh, people from uh, eastern regions, and uh, they will have a chance uh, 24 hours online to do something from music to literature, from literature to meetings with uh, known Ukrainians, and uh, and uh, other aspects of our program, and uh, my colleague Marina will uh, mention that. Thank you. In fact, we are trying to do that. The festival, as Siri told, is uh, 
24 hours and uh, you will have every hour you will have uh, different variants what to do and uh, for example in the morning uh, there will be free tours uh, to Lutsk and uh, known people from Lutsk they will uh, they will organize uh, tours uh, to Lutsk and uh, different uh, they will tell you about interesting uh, places in Lutsk and also there will be a uh, children town which organized for several years with mummies, activists uh, from Lutsk. It is different uh, because it doesn't have uh, some uh, batuts uh, or standard uh, Chinese entertainment. In uh, children's town there are always uh, masters and uh, they give um, different master classes. Uh, they play the games and uh, they are that are known uh, probably uh, to our uh, uh, grandparents and uh, so we're trying uh, to support uh, authentic uh, crafts of Ukraine and uh, and they will have such uh, practical classes uh, for kids. Also this year we we'll paid more attention uh, to such uh, gastronomic part of uh, the festival as a part of Banderstadt. There will be a festival of uh, street uh, Bandar food fest and uh, street food or fast food. And there will be a lot of points. Not only Ukrainian cuisine, but uh, there will be Bandera cuisine and also there will be Armenian, Bulgarian and uh, many other locations where someone uh, can eat something tasty. Also at the festival during uh, the night program will have uh, uh, movies at night, different movies and uh, documentary uh, movies and Ukrainian and foreign, so it will be also interesting. Also, traditionally, we hold different sport events and uh, competitions. Everybody can participate and they can win uh, prizes uh, from the festival. And uh, that's one more in attraction is uh, Bandarstadt was uh, our patriotic position. And in the light of these events, we are trying to do everything possible to attract attention of the young people to, to the events in the East. And uh, that's why this year festival, there will be uh, Azov um, uh, volunteers and uh, they will um, give a course uh, of a military training course. and. Um, how to defend yourself, your relatives uh, from uninspected incidents, and uh, we uh, we um, work on the security issues uh, for the festival. And uh, summing up, I'd like to say that the presence and uh, but the started one of uh, in. Uh, the Western regions of Ukraine, it allows representatives from other regions and uh, from uh, Kiev to, to uh, see our city. It's a beautiful it's a beautiful city and everybody who has not visited it and uh, we welcome. And that's about uh, Kiev um, and all the rest of uh, participants from other regions of Ukraine. And uh, one more point of our festival I, have, I would like to, to mention. Uh, we have uh, to warn to inform everyone. We are the only festival where we have uh, dry law, so alcohol is uh, prohibited. No selling, and uh, and we will not sell alcohol downtown. So three days, healthy way of life, intellectual conversations with the trend Ukrainians uh, three days so very good uh, music and writers and uh, very tasty food at the festival uh, 2015 uh, that is guaranteed thank you Siri. thank you Marina now questions please introduce yourself good morning Christina Ukrainian crisis media center recently I visited Lutsk and I would like to ask you where concretely the festival will take place you talked in the park and uh, We'll have some activities in the castle and uh, how how many people visit your festival? Traditional 
it is on this uh, in the central park of our city and uh, there is a uh, horses to train in uh, school territory there is a stage and there is a big uh, tent uh, town 80 percent of those who come to the festival they are guests uh, from other uh, other regions and uh, who fi will find uh, Bonibat Wallin in Lutz, guest uh, to uh, Castle Lugert and uh, that is um, a very beautiful place and uh, so we are not uh, have, we are not uh, we don't uh, we are far away from them but those who will give uh, tours they will uh, take you we expected to have about uh, four or five thousand uh, visitors and not a lot compared to other festivals but because it's a uh, alcohol free festival and uh, not many understand uh, how to have a rock festival without beer for us it's a uh, this uh, unexpected position, etc. Because, uh, in my opinion, it's better to be to to have this uh, to fill this niche of uh, no alcohol-free festival than uh, to to be one of uh, typical uh, rock festivals. Thank you. One more question. Judging by music uh, and uh, and guest, uh, top guest, you yeah, plan to have. So it will be the program will be quite uh, uh, quite uh, intensive. Uh, as what about the tickets? Where one can buy tickets and uh, what are the prices uh, for those tickets? Yes, uh, we are selling tickets and uh, they will be sold uh, during the festival. Now the price is 250 for three days uh, for the festival. It will be uh, 300 rupees. Comparing to prices uh, for other festivals, we have quite a low price. And also 250 hryvnia, it's, uh, it's only during the last uh, months and uh, before that uh, tickets were cheaper and uh, those who plan uh, to come to the festival, they could uh, buy them uh, in advance and uh, they could, uh, it could be just went in ticket to uh, cost uh, 150 hryvnia. I have one more question. Great initiative. Very interesting festival. Are you planning to cooperate with the local authorities uh, to develop a tourist uh, in a tourist uh, program in Lusk and to hold the festivals um, at other seasons with local authorities and um, we work with them every year. Let's we cooperate on the level of uh, uh, utility services and uh, they are responsible for comfort. I started with uh, wood for the tent house and uh, up to um, up to drinking water. And uh, also showers, we would like to, uh, to have showers. So we continue cooperation at local authorities. In fact, every year, not big sum of money they provide, but they support the festival financial to, uh, to cover some issues it's very important because of the border border uh, status uh, of our city it's important to show Lutsk uh, or festival or Bandrashtad uh, to tourists uh, and it's mostly about Ukrainians because if to speak about uh, uh, Poland uh, for the issue of Bandrashtad is very complicated to them and everything which is related to Bandera and the uh, liberation movement of uh, or the forces uh, in Ukraine that's uh, that's at least a misunderstanding uh, and it was uh, tough discussions but uh, at the same time there is a center of tourist information for Lutsk and uh, they help us uh, with tours around the city and uh, and um, it, it will be a, a promotion of our festival in Ukraine and abroad thank you one more as far as I understand, even from the name of the festival, it is clear that it is patriotic. Do you know of uh, whether any amounts collected from uh, ticket fees will be channeled to the ATO area or something else? Starting from the past year, the question became rather topical, and if we look on volume and if we check for regional attribution of military servicemen, we, we've been quite a, 
active in pro providing support to our uh, military servicemen and uh, all the support amount from the previous festival we channeled to help our soldiers. It was not a big amount, uh, about it's a bit more than 70,000, but still we managed to fit out a jeep for them. And this year, unfortunately, we don't see any improvements to the situation, and we actively work uh, to again channel uh, any supplies we're going to have from the festival to, to, to support our brethren from volleying fighting there in the ATO area. Besides, we actively cooperate with the guys that have uh, released from the past uh, stay in the ATO, invited them to the ATO. We try to find those on rehabilitation and we cope with volunteers to to make our Bundestag not just a patriotic bubble but uh, something meaningful uh, and we think that uh, yeah, it's necessary for Ukraine to have such festivals. Thank you, Sergei. Thank you, Maria. All the successes to you and your festival, and we'll gladly welcome you again here in our media center. Thank you.